Hello Pilots, this is Edward Hong from FFCA Korea. In this video, we will learn how to update the transmitter and receiver of FR Sky products. This is a solution to the FR Sky receiver's binding problem mentioned in the previous video. Sorry again for the delay in the video. First, I will upload the binding of Tyrannus X12S Horus and the next video will upload the X9D+. First, I will introduce the preparation for the upgrade. Tyrannus X12S Horus. A USB cable connects the transmitter to a PC. X8R receiver to be updated. Receiver battery or ESC for battery connection. A pin or something for the FC switch on the receiver. Servo extension cable to connect receiver from PC or laptop. Second, download the necessary files. There are four files in total. Step 1. Download transmitter firmware, https colon slash slash www.firski-rc.com slash horus-x12s slash select firmware ixjt, optics, from the firmware list and download the firmware. Create a new frsky folder on the desktop of the downloaded firmware, move it, and unzip the file. Step 2. Download receiver firmware. Select the 2.4 GHz receiver from the list on the left of product download, then select the X8R or other receiver to upgrade. Here's a link, https colon slash slash www.firski-rc.com slash x8r slash. Next, select ACCSTD8 and D16 firmware, and download to extract the firmware to the FRSKY folder on the desktop created earlier. Step 3. Download the latest version of OpenTX Window Companion. Visit the OpenTX homepage and download the latest version of Windows Companion, 2.3.15, in the middle of the Windows window. The link is as follows. https colon slash slash www.open-tx.org slash 2022 slash 04 slash 22 slash opentext 2.3.15. Install the downloaded Windows Companion file, unzip and install the downloaded issue file in the program folder. Finally, step 4. Download the drive used to connect the transmitter to the PC. Visit the Zadig website and download the Zadig 2.7 driver for the USB cable. The link is https colon slash slash zadig.ako.ie slash now everything is ready. Move all the files downloaded above to the FR Sky folder on the desktop you created earlier and unzip them. So far, we have looked at the programs and materials to prepare for the upgrade. In the next video, we will look at the process of upgrading the transmitter and the receiver. Thanks for watching. Have a happy flight.